So what I'm going to do here is just quickly go through and show what I did. I'm kind of proud of it. So uh, visual of Euler's method. Uh, first of all, this is how I talk to my students. Like this is a slope field, right? So blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's suppose that we have a solution curve that we want to approximate, right? So you have X not Y not, that'll be our initial condition. And then they won't see this over here. So when I create the video, they will not see that, but I'll turn off the slope field. Say, okay, well, the first thing we do is we take a look because we have the slope field and we have what Y prime is. We can then uh, determine the slope of the tangent line to the solution curve at our initial condition. We then extend that uh, tangent line out. And then, see, I could press play and just showcase this. That, And we want to use that as our approximation because we don't know what this curve is and then i get to click on this and say but there's an error right we talk about that uh, up here i say how to compute the next value and then i continue forward so i here's my next uh, element i can show the slope field and say look how it matches up to the slope field yada 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 and then uh, go ahead and extend that out again. I can press play and say then we fire off a shot in this direction Lands right there and notice our error. This is kind of an interesting example because the error looks like it shrinks down It actually uh, does in this case But it's a great conversation piece to talk about the fact that the error can vary as you move through the curve here And then the process continues. So that's kind of a cool um, one and then I have the improved Euler's and that one again same idea same exact slope field same function so step one right then step two here's the lineal element uh and i don't know if i have anything to press play on there so step three label so uh let m sub one be the slope of that lineal element step three we fire forward you can see me firing forward along that lineal element to get this but i mentioned that is not our approximation that's just a value we're arriving at because what we're going to be doing is using the slope of the lineal element at that location, specifically that lineal element. And now watch what happens. But what I'll do is I'll use that slope along with the slope of the guy that we have down here. So we're going to average those two slopes. Essentially what we're going to do is bring this one over here and you average these two slopes out to create a brand new line. And our brand new line is this guy right here, which has the average slopes and it emanates from X not Y not. And notice that's a much better approximation to our actual solution curve at X sub one than uh, X, than uh, our Euler's approx approximation would be. And then uh, I just continued from there, right? So there's the error um, and uh, label, I guess the next step. Yep, there we go. And then show the lineal element there, extend the line lineal element. Uh, you can also press play and see the, the shot being fired, if you will. And, uh, and then show the uh, other lineal element, bar that should have been back here. I, I need to have it. So there's the lineal element at that. We're gonna average the slope at that line lineal element with the slope where we fired from. So I just bring that down so you can see the average of those two slopes and then I fire away, right? And so uh, this gives me a kind of a big error at that, <laughs> at that back end, honestly. Okay, and then the last one is the Runkata, Runga Kata. And that one is a pain in the butt. But again, same slope field. Again, same uh, solution curve, right? And this time, uh, same lineal, lineal element to start with. And I mentioned there's our slope at that lineal element. And I extend that lineal element. Uh, that point there, I just, I always have that point where it fires forward. And then after that, I'm just gonna close this out. Uh, so I'd be editing a video in the background so that it wouldn't hear me rambling. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Now you can see at that point, notice that we only went halfway. So what we're doing is getting a better approximation of what the slope probably is between these two points by going only halfway. Uh, and I'm gonna take that lineal element that's only halfway uh, through this uh, this. Uh, tangent line approximation here. I'm going to take that lineal element and I'm going to drag it back. So I just go ahead and press play here so they can see that. 
And instead of averaging those two, what I'm going to do is extend this one and get another half approximation. So let me go ahead and do that. And there's another half approximation. And where that lands, I'll find the lineal element there. By the way, here's a slope field in the background. And so you can see the lineal element at this upper point should be slightly steeper in slope. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, let's see. Did I already turn this on? I did. Okay. Let's take a look at the slope. Oops. I have this. Drag this back here. There's the slope. It is slightly steeper. And we are going to drag that back. And you may say, wait, are you going to target using three things? Right? That's what a student would say. And I would say, mm, sort of. What I'm going to do now is take that last little line we used, and I'm just going to target all the way to X sub 1 with it. Bam, there we go. And then I'm going to find the slope of the lineal element at this point. And they say, wow, why are you doing that? And I say, because it just sounds right. And so here I go. I take the slope of the lineal element. If you want to judge for yourself that the lineal elements are about there. Yep, they sure are. And so uh, I will go ahead and drag that point back. Now you have four approximating slopes. And you want to use a linear combination of those. And then I have a conversation about the weights and why we weight the central two as the heaviest. Um, and then uh, when I say central two, I mean the half approximations as the heaviest. Uh, and then after I have that conversation, uh, I go ahead and turn this on and turn this on and plot the next solution using y sub one, blah, blah, blah. And if you take a look at this, that next solution is really, really nice. Let me unlock my view so I can zoom in. And man, that looks good, right? That's a super, super nice approximation. So anyway, uh, there we go. Visual of all three methods. Uh, and of, of course, I mean, I would edit and clean it up.